I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than the town. Hey there, thanks for joining me. This is Manny the Man Lopez, uh, PLS Tips with Manny. Uh, sorry I wasn't here last week, folks, but I uh, just had a little bit of a delay on getting my stuff done. So, uh, got a new episode for you guys this week. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about testimonials and referrals. How to get them, how to get these referrals and testimonials, all right? So, I'm going to ma not make it too long today. Um, actually, in the next hour, I have to be at my son's practice. So, I have to be able to get this done, converted, and uploaded in the next hours. So I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to try it. So, testimonials and referrals. As you guys can see, I got a little bit different backdrop today. I've changed my uh, office around, my office desk, so I am now facing my beautiful view instead of you guys facing it, because I guess I was coming out too bright, supposedly, my team was telling me. Anyways, so back to the action. Uh, testimonials and referrals. So, first off, let's teach you how to get a testimonial. Now, one of what I've seen is I, I always get compliments on what I do in my business. So um, I meet a lot of people, shake hands with people. Uh, they find me online. They tell me over the phone. Whichever way you're getting a testimonial, document it. Whether it's written, whether it's a video, um, the best form of testimonial right now are video, video testimonials. And the best way to do that, I've actually learned a little trick on how to do this to get it the best possible testimonial. So let's say you're on about at a networking event or a dinner gathering or what have you and you meet a client and they're like, oh yeah, blah, blah, blah. And you ask them how this stuff working for you. They're like, oh, it's awesome. It's good, blah, 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 whatever. Um, then you say, hey, I want I want you to, um, you know, they, they give you some kudos, right? And the way you get them to, to put it in a testimonial, so man, that was awesome. Is there any way I can just record that for a couple seconds, repeat what you just said on a video? And, you know, if they're a real good client of yours, of course, you're going to say yes, okay? But here's the trick. This is how you get them to do a very, very good testimonial. Once they do that first testimonial, say, you know what? That was awesome. Now, let's just do it one more time so we can get the perfect shot. And bam, they'll do it the second time. That second testimonial is always the best testimonial that, that you're going to receive from that person. So keep in mind, if you're doing a testimonial on video, do two. Okay, get that first testimonial and just say, man, that was awesome. Let's just do it one more time to get a good good angle or whatever. Just any reason that you have to get it one more time. Because that second round, they're going to go back. They can get all that little influx of what they were saying and get it just done perfectly. So definitely uh, utilize that. Uh, written testimonials. I always like to have them go to my Facebook page and give me a five-star testimonial. That way I can screenshot it throw it on my website or whatnot, and it gives me a systematic way to capture that. So, you know, it gives me a five star, it gives me the blah, 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 I can see it on social media, I can post it on social, I can share it, just give me a lot of available um, capabilities with that. Uh, the next thing we have is, uh, hey, I'm going to do this pretty quick, huh? three minutes in. Um, I, I've got to get this done quicker, it's probably going to be maybe 10 minutes at most for this today's uh, uh, PLS tips. Um, but uh, testimonials. So, it's a great way to get testimonials is, yeah, getting them to make sure you have a systematic way of getting it because the last thing you want is a testimonial here, testimonial here, and then you've got all these scattered testimonials. Get a systematic way of sharing those testimonials. If they have you know, your Facebook page or your website or your Yelp or whatever way you have, but have a systematic place people go to put testimonials. That way they can see other testimonials, what other people have put. Maybe that will give them ideas that they're going to be able to put out there. Um, if you're face-to-face, -face, get it on video. Everybody's got a smartphone nowadays. Get that on video and have them do it twice. Referrals. This is um, the hardest part about referrals is just asking for them. That's just it. That's it. It's the, the hardest thing for somebody. They don't understand the concept is that you must ask for the referral if you're going to get it. Now, if you do really great work and people just refer you business, by all means, that's great. But that's not really the norm. You know, most of the times you're gonna you're gonna have to ask for the referral. You're gonna have to interact with them more often to to let them know you got a referral program. Um, something like that is definitely beneficial. Come up with something like for my my branding agency, I came up with send me three, yours is free. So if you send me three referrals, I do one of our branding services for free for you. So kind of come up with something unique that's catchy. Um, I heard a, um, a network marketing company recently that said, send send me four, pay no more. 
Uh, so there's a, a lot of different ways you can just be kind of fun with it. And incentivize referrals. Give them something of value. If someone's going to refer you somebody, that's like a laydown. That's like somebody is an easy sell. That somebody that said, I did business with them, I paid the money, and I got a return on my investment. I mean, come on. How much easier? Word of mouth business is the best form of business that you could have. So solidify your ability to get more of those by having a system in process letting people know this is exactly how you're going to send me a referral. I get referrals and this is how they do it. So let them know that there's a system in place so you know that this is not your first, oh, you got a referral. Oh, well, I don't know what to do. What do I do with this? <laughs> you know, just let them know, hey, okay, you got a referral. Awesome. We've got a perfect place for you to submit that referral for me. Um, go on my website, make a landing page on the Power Lead System where they can submit referrals. Get a referral.yourdomain.com. Um, and just give them a way that shows it's a systematic approach to getting that done for you. Um, like my example, what I've done is I, um, I have one of my products that I promote and I have an affiliate model for it that um, they just, I make a, a power lead system, subdomain. It's exact same design as my regular page. I just throw their name in front of it and I say, hey, that's your referral link. So anytime they have a referral, they just go to the link, get somebody to submit it, they send it out or whatever, and they they get lead that's how I generate leads how my referrals so it's a way for me to track it by saying hey I know it came from blank dot blank 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 dot com so we know it came from your leads um, so that's a great way to set up your own affiliate plan affiliate model that you want to put together for referrals and then incentivize them I you know I pay a percentage of, of what they would refer um, based off of what that person would buy so yeah, that's how I set up mine um, but always just having a, a way to have a system in place for asking for the sale, asking for the referral. And one of the best ways to ask for referrals right when they sign up. Say, hey, who do you know that would that would also see some value in what we're doing today? You know, there's at least three people you know. Who who would they be? You know, always assume they have referral. Everybody knows people. Okay, you can't. It's very rare that you're going to find somebody. Let's put it that way. It's very very rare you're going to find somebody that does not have at least some sort of some type of network of family of friends of somebody that you would be able to tap into for your resource so always go into the call or sale once you've got them sold to say hey you know this is awesome I'm excited to get you started um, I'm pretty sure you know a few other people who have a pretty cool program if you refer that you're able to get set up and get something free whatever the way you incentivize people power lead system you got that 50% matching bonus so you got plenty of ways to incentivize people into a referral program hey if you refer a system who do you know always go back who do you know that would benefit from this who's the first person that comes to mind always assume there's a list of people just sitting in their brain waiting for you to get referred to always assume that when you assume that, you're going to get referred. You, like today, I had a, a, a lead come in on my power lead system, and I had an agent of mine in-house here, and I told him, hey, call this guy up and tell him, I heard you're ready to get started. Let's get going. Just straight go into that. Go in, Assuming the sale on the call. We haven't even talked to this guy yet, but somehow I just told him, hey, assume the sale, go in there saying, hey, you're ready to get started. Just wanted to see if I can answer a question for you. And he goes, I am ready to get started. I do have a couple questions. So, I mean, it just literally went right into, we knew it was going to be a sell, and by the end of that call, where is it at? Did I run off of it? Oh, no, I didn't. Sorry. I'll hide my logo. But by the end of that call, sign contract. So, your attitude towards a situation is really nine times out of ten the result of that situation. Think about this. Your attitude toward the situation, your attitude towards asking for a referral, your attitude towards asking for the sale, your attitude for asking for the testimonial. When you assume that your clients love you, you assume that your prospects are all going to do business with you and that they are just waiting to see the value. When you assume that, you're going to see a lot more of that actually happening, happening, happening. So of that actually happening. It's a really, really, really weird effect. When you have this assumption of, of greatness, greatness will surround you. Okay, so taking to that aspect, we're about 10 minutes in right now, so that's good. I think I'll cut it off from here. Adding in the intros will be over 10. So um, that's my kind of concept of how I get referrals, how I get testimonials. You just ask. You got to have a, a system in place that, uh, you, first of all, you got to ask. Okay, 
Uh, second of all, you have to have a system in place to capture these referrals and organize them. Don't just you know, have a list of referrals somewhere. That's what I was doing. I was having a bunch of referrals being sent to me via text, via Facebook, via email, um, via face-to-face. -face. Uh, so I would just have a scattered area of, of my testimonies and referrals and I was just like, man, where do I have put all these organized? So um, just in the last year or so, I started getting really more organized and putting a system in place, putting in processes for referrals and testimonials, and my that aspect of my business has grown exponentially. So it's it's really just giving yourself a systematic approach to doing this, and you're going to have success because if there's a step-by-step -step process of how you do something and you repetitively do it every time, you're going to get better and better and better at doing that. And when you become better at something, you get more of it. So that's just plain and simple. So I'll leave it at that, guys. That is my POS tips for this week. Uh, get more referrals. Get more testimonials by having a system in place and asking for them. Uh, anything that you guys want to learn, let me know. Put it in the comments. Put in the topics on Facebook. Tag me. Something where I can see it. Okay, I got to see it, guys. There's a lot of stuff going on around me each day. So I got to make sure you're putting me in front of that stuff that I can see. So uh, that'll be it. I will leave it at that so I can get this recorded, or not recorded, edited, uh, uploaded, and live in the next hour. So let's do this. I'm going for it. I will see you guys very soon. And always remember, you are too blessed to be stressed. Have a great day. I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found.